Well, hello everybody, and we are back for episode 4 of Waffle Socket. In this episode, we're going to be talking about barns. We were able to purchase two cows in the last playthrough. So, I organized all the patch notes on barns, and I'm just going to read them off real quick. There are four new fixes to barns. One is they fixed an issue where barn overpopulation would trigger one cow sooner than intended. The second is they fixed an issue where herds could become permanently abandoned when canceling a barn relocation task. I actually had this happen to me, and it erased all my cows. Third is they fixed an issue where cows could end up stuck in limbo in the trading post and then deleted. And fourth is they fixed a rare onload issue related to the barns. And I believe that is referencing when you would load in and your cows would be all damaged. And on top of that, they made those fixes, but they made a lot of changes to barns too. The first change they did is they reduced the population cap for tier one barns down to 10. So this is a pretty big change. And in order to get a tier two barn, you now have to have a tier four town center, but the cap went from 16 all the way up to 20 and you can have eight people managing your barn. The third change is that cows can no longer be purchased at the trading post unless a barn has been constructed, as we saw early in the gameplay. Fourth change is they updated production of meat, hides, and milk set barns. I'm not exactly sure if that's in the positive or negative, so we will find out. And they also changed the milking and butchering priority for herders uh, that prevented cows from being stuck and not grazing when not in milking season. They dramatically increased the production speed at smokehouses. I'm getting around 700 meat. Whereas like my best average was like around 500. So that's a pretty big increase. All right, let's get started. So we have two cows. We're going to get this um, this fencing up. I'm going to try to get this tower up ASAP because I'm super paranoid about a bear coming and eating my cows. And another thing I tested out yesterday. So in the prior patch... Cows could only go through uh, fence gates. They can go through stone and wood gates now. So that means we can f put our barns in fortified area and have them come outside. So I might even move this barn a little bit back. I might, I might uh, give it its own little protective area. That would be really cool. We're gonna boost this up to times two. Gonna check this crop. Still need to get the weeds and rocks down before I start going. Gonna continue working on getting a windmill up. We are still we are seeing a heightened return on fruit with quite a bit of room to grow. Overall everything is looking very, very good. I am very eager to see how the cow situation turns out. I have a lot of people with these cows, but I just want to make sure... I want to make sure nothing bad happens to them, because I definitely need that food supply. Alright, we got the tower up. Let's check out our people. Hmm... Definitely need more people. We've hit kind of our our perfect place. It means I'm going to have to think about expansion. Trying to think what would be the best place. Um, well, we got more immigrants coming in and no houses for them. They all wear the same outfit. That's how you can. That's how you can tell them. All right. We're gonna take them. Um, we're gonna take all of them. I need them. And we're going to try to figure this out. I'm actually going to have to move this thing because I want to put the houses here. I'll just move this guy over there. I have a bit of wood. I like to build my defenses as I go. I know some people don't think you need to. There's nothing wrong with that opinion. But I like to make sure the bandits don't burn my houses down. 
Always double gate. trying to think when I upgrade it's going to go that way realistically I think right here would be a good place let's try to get let's try to get a lot of houses in on this one though okay so one. terraform this flat let's try to see how many houses in a row we can get try to try to get more bang for our buck I also think I could probably organize this more efficiently. Um, though you'll be in the same situation where one house has two roads, so it doesn't actually really make too much of a difference if I were to reorganize this. And we need that spot so that we can have the tower there. We'll place roads here, though, because I'm going to just put plazas down to, to get everything up. I might even terraform this out and move the tower outside so I can put more houses in here. We'll, we, we'll play it by ear. Don't necessarily need to reinvent the wheel. Would probably be beneficial though to do that. And I have this tower placed like this so it can hit that, that wall over there. It's not gonna be perfect. It's not gonna be perfect. To, that's okay. I'm only double double gating the outside entry points, uh, and of course this one because it's just a special, more special place. But uh, I think we'll just do one gate on the inner areas. reposition him he should should not be having issues yet he is almost got this area up need to move this thinking i believe i was thinking like right here where this gentleman has parked his wagon i, th I think eventually uh, mm, that'd be a good spot for a windmill Let's just let's just terraform this whole area up. The windmill and put the this guy over there. Perfection. I think this would be a great, great spot for the market. And then behind it, we can place. Um, place a statue later. That'd be a good, I think that'd be a good use of it. And I think we'll place housing right behind it. We're gonna try to get as much housing jam packed into this area as possible. have to clear out all this stone but that's great um, that's a lot of stone that's great though we'll, we'll definitely use it we're gonna start working towards tier three um, I like tier. I, I think tier three this game goes from hard to easy mode once you hit tier three just because of all the resources you have it's just kind of ridiculous Really hoping those people don't freeze to death. Probably prioritize this. Definitely need every body I have. Boost stocks are low. We got a, a field coming up soon, and this 
This barn here is going to save the world, so... Me, it will potentially buy more cows if we get the option to speed up the process of uh, getting this to a productive state so that our food levels won't be in such a crisis. Overall, everything is looking pretty good, and I am very, very happy with the changes they made to the, the Arborist. This is a huge gameplay change. Uh, it's actually, they're actually worth it now. I mean, they're going to bring in so much food. I think two is probably enough. If I, if I were to do this again, I would, I would do three, and I would probably stagger it when the tree maturity reaches 33%, plant another field. And that field reaches 33%, plant another field. That way, they're they're alternating um, within one third of each other. Or if you want to do two, pl plant your next field when this one's at 50%. That way, they're peaking and declining at different times, so that there isn't like one season you have a thousand, when the other season you have 200. You want it to be kind of consistent, like 500 between the two of them, like all the time. So that's just my thoughts on that. On. They did not freeze to death. I don't know how they survived, to be honest. I usually, uh, I've, I've had, I've, I've done this quite a few times where I don't have enough houses, and they usually freeze to death. So, outstanding. Oh, look at that! Look at that! It lines up. Yeah, we can put a medium statue. Perfect. Lots of terraforming going on. My janky road system is doing its part. We got a trader incoming. Hopefully he has... Hmm... Oh, wow, look at our boards. We're going to need a lot of these for upgrades. Um, don't, don't be fooled that 500 wood planks is a good place to be. I know I'm producing a lot. I will probably turn this guy up for now and focus on raw resources. I feel like we have a good surplus of boards, and we have the ability to increase productivity when required. All right, pause the game. This guy's selling wood. He's buying shoes at a pretty decent price. 25. Do we want to buy more clay? Potentially. I would like to get one more cow, though. The more cows I get, the better birth, faster my birth rate gets to, like, two. It's going to take several years. Oh, boy. probably build out this area and then this will be kind of like the inner courtyard area we could put a large statue here which will hit all the houses we could put a theater here which will hit all that well i mean theater you could put so far away but yeah this is looking like um it's looking like i also want to bump this out one more tile to line up with, or two tiles in fact if i want to put a wall that would actually allow us to include some more root cellars into the design which would be useful maybe a, a granary or two and then we can have the granary stored yeah 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 yeah. that's that's great that's great that's exactly what we want to do and then we can have granary access to the barn right there it's gonna it's gonna be so efficient i like that idea a lot so someone was asking like um, for terraforming guides. So essentially when you terraform, it takes the average of all cells. So you want to get as many cells as you possibly can at, at a high height and raise one low cell at a time. So that's maximum. So I want to do this because that's the maximum. So it's going to average at all, all of these high level cells plus this. That's how you want to do tiles. You get it up one at a time. Now I can, of course, do it like this. Um, but since this yeah, 
I'd probably actually, yeah. You can do it like this. So, basically, you just want to make sure that all but one of the tiles is at the height you want, and that way you're not losing as much, because the averages are going to be a lot higher. So that's really terraforming, and you just do that for the rest of your life. That's why I don't sit here and do one tile at a time. I It just, it takes forever. It's like, I'll, I'll just get it to a place I like it, and then I'll, and then... I'll use that concept again, and, and I'll just do this, and I'll terraform from a low point up, and that will lower the terrain, and I'll just dig around this whole thing and create the territory that I, I like. It's actually a lot easier to trench, in my opinion, than it is to uh, to build up, because you just got to go one tile at a time, which isn't that bad for a small, like, well, I should rephrase that. That's not a big deal for a small city like this. That wouldn't take so much time, but like, I'm I'm thinking from my perspective, with the, but you've seen my builds. My builds are huge. It would t it would take me years to do that to my builds, so I kind of shy away from it. Um, and I do and I do prefer trenching, which, like I said, it's just just going from a low point and lowering all the areas around it like that. It's just easier. I mean, I I could definitely do a better job of this doing one tile at a time, but I just I am uh, not that OCD today, so I'll just let it go. He left. That's fine. I didn't want his clay. I have enough clay for the upgrades that I need right now. We definitely need... Okay. So our weed levels have are sufficient. Um, let's think. All right, we want to grow buckwheat. And buckwheat wants to be right here. 10%. Okay. So this is the sweet spot. It's going to cost us 70 clay. This is the sweet spot though. We'll go that's a that's a total increase of 22%. So cuz we're taking this 12 to 0 and then we're adding 10. So that's a 22% increase in productivity. So definitely worth the cost. And this is what we're going to do. gonna get our windmill up and now that I know that the granary is gonna go over here I want to put this right here that's where I want that windmill this guy's gonna go right here I'm gonna give him a road we have quite a bit of stone we need to be tier 3 to upgrade to stone roads now though so, can't do that anymore. Alright, we got houses going up. Everything's going to plan. This is great. I think we can get the tier 3 just uh, this, with this expansion here. We'll terraform this up a bit. Um, I'm gonna wait till this wall's built out more before I destroy this. But we'll put a gran put two granaries there, and a couple more root cellars, and that's great because we can do a rat catcher in this area. It's not telling me I have. That's one thing about this game is it doesn't look like I have any rats right now. I don't know if that's a glitch. Oh, more people are coming. I'm actually honestly a little surprised at how many immigrants I'm getting, considering that my happiness really sucks. And we will take them. Need to increase our builders. We just got, got too many projects going on. Wood situation is good. Our firewood situation is probably a little bit overproductive, but it will catch up with the amount of new infrastructure and houses that we have just built. 
So I will allow it to continue. If it gets out of control, I will decrease it though. Put the walls up. Gold positive right now, so we're gonna get another. Gonna get another tower up. And I want it to intersect the so the raiders, they go for gates. They go for gates most of the time because the gates have less HP. So I like to have my towers kind of like this, where you see that they intersect those two gates. If I move it here, however, it will intersect that gate. If I have it here, yeah. So I'll move this. I'm probably going to move this later. Um, because I need to make sure that there's no dead ends on the gates that I'm going to have here, too. Because I'm probably going to have a gate right there. So I'll need to build out the defenses before I can perfectly get that aligned correctly. So we'll leave it there for now. I think I might fully build this area out as a nice residential. This is like the upper class cool people residential. They're literally high on their mountain relative to uh, everybody else. And that should get us to 300 people. Maybe. Maybe. We can always build a shanty town and then destroy it and then allow the natural upgrade process of this, you know, when it goes up to six with mansions that gets to 300. I always found that 300 people is kind of like a sweet spot. You don't have, like, the game just uh, becomes kind of tedious when you have a large population until they like you can plant so you can plant trees by going to decorations and just i plant oaks because they yield seven i don't know if they fit i don't know if they all yield like the other trees only yield five i don't know if they fix that in the patch but i that's why i plant oak trees is because they get a, a better yield maples and stuff can go up to seven naturally but the planted maples in the prior patch at least only went up to five I do not know the answer to whether or not um, that is still... Oh, gosh. Ten people. Okay. We're going to cut down all these trees. Oh, and my arborist. I moved him, and I forgot to reset him. There we go. 455, and he wasn't even set correctly. Crazy. 368. That's... This is amazing. Getting such great yields off this. I think that I will, however, do a road, like right here. Um, we're about to have a lot of stone. I'm just gonna clear this whole area out and just have a lot of resources. Herd size has not grown. Gosh, I moved the wrong thing. Silly me. Um, it's actually not a bad spot for it, though. Okay. Just need to keep terraforming this area.
would like to see the radius of this. Um, I don't know why. My intuition's telling me that this is probably the best place for a gate. stuff all there I think I think I will also do this um, I want to give ease of access to the root cellars for the fields I'm gonna have root cellars right here and I'll have the granaries right there cow will have access the windmill will go there Right here. Perfect. I, I try to keep stuff a little bit away from the walls because when the AI comes in, they will, they, they'll they kind of pass by a lot of this stuff. We'll and we'll probably, to be honest, fortify the, the industrial area at some point. That's a later game, though. Food supply seems to be sufficient. Three people are ill. We want to keep... If that goes to... Four or five, I will have to enable the healer's hut. I'm going to stop um, making houses for just a little bit. cows. He'll buy gold ore from me at a ridiculously bad price of 10. I, I don't see anything that I want. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it go for now. I don't want to sell my gold ore for that cheap. It's, it's worth, each one of those is worth like, I think like 15. If you take out the cost of the coal to make it, um, you should try to get at least 15 gold per ore. Otherwise, it's just too cheap. Okay, let's make sure our workers are properly stabbed. Alright. 40 people sitting around doing nothing. That's not a good figure. Um, let's start... Start mining some coal. Just put it there. At least they have a good view. I like the, the mines are kind of annoying because I forget where I forget where I place them. So it's like I'll just try to keep them in the same place. Um, that would be better to keep it closer to the cart. Looks like the cart is becoming quite quite active. So we're gonna bump that up to two. Still got the one dude just chilling. Oh. Oh man, we can't buy any baskets. If I see if I see Willow, I, I'll, I'll build a basket, a basket maker for that. But I haven't found any yet. It's pretty hard to find in this map, so I'll have to buy some baskets. Either buy the Willow or or buy the baskets. But try to get baskets. That will be a huge productivity increase. I wonder if I'll even collect more fruit if my guys had baskets. Probably. 455, 368. Okay, now I'm gonna salvage the build. Double gate this. Keep this gated off. Grab 
granaries back there. And two root cellars, just like that. Perfection. And another tower right here. I like this spot. Change this up. That looks better too. Yeah, that. That gives access. Another tower. The same dude, I think. Yep. Oh, he's got cows, though. How did I miss that? Okay. He's selling them at a premium. He knows I want... He knew it. He knew I wanted that cow. Oh, well, let's see if we can get it. Got three cows. I just want to get that... The more cows we get, the faster our birth rate gets up, and the faster we get to... Seeing all the new improvements. Boom, four cows. It's a good amount of milk. Oh, that's right. I want to get 50 bricks so I can upgrade this marketplace, too. And I could sell more items. Oh, there's lots of stuff to do. Um, I do want to get candle production going for luxury taxes. And as a trade good, I'm a big fan of candles. I always just plant, put them right in the middle of my farming area. Farmers are the ones who collect from these, so it's it's just like my preferred area. Preferred area. Okay, that's quite a bit. That's going to cost us a lot of boards. We're starting to go through boards again. Let's pump that back up. Let's check our... Let's check to make sure our work camp is efficiently producing. 79 is not too bad. Alright, so that's going buckwheat. Um, it's not going to increase what we need until they'll move the clay over in the third year. It's fine. We're going to have our first we're gonna have our first production. We're going to have our first windmill. We need to get the bakery up. This is actually probably the best place for the bakery right here. Actually, the best place for the bakery would be like... Hmm, it's a no-win situation. I am going to have more houses over here, so I am kind of inclined to want to put it in this area. Let's, let's move this guy over there and put the bakery right there. Alright, we got 19 raiders. Okay, they are, they are serious. Let's hope they don't destroy everything. And uh, I typically have things in walls. I think they'll follow the roads and run by. Alright, yeah, we should be pretty defended. The extra tower that I built is paying off. That's why I built it there. I wanted it to hit those two areas. Definitely going to increase the amount of guards in that tower. Looks like they're going to break through one wall. And this is why I say double gate. Yeah, we're good. They lose, we win. They did kill a few people though. 
Not bad. Early defense is held up pretty well. Let's try to kill as many of them as possible. Let's send the message. I wish you could raid raid them though. That like I wish I could get loot off the weapons and all that stuff. Cool. That tower is just chilling. I'm just gonna keep this tower right here for now, even though I definitely could get rid of it. move it. Um, it's tower. I think this tower is good because if I do get hit by a larger force, they'll work on beating this tower to death while my people all run away. So. Okay, we're going back to times two. And that was cool. This this one might might be a little overkill now that I think about it, but I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it because it's uh we're gonna upgrade this baby. I think when I upgrade it, we'll be able to hit those gates over there. All right, now we have flour in production. We get the bakery up. Hmm. We could put a tavern right there too later. That'll be yeah, this is a good spot for everything. Doing pretty good, man. Um, wow, got our first disease on our first. Wow, 50% at peak. I wonder if they actually fixed the diseases because they weren't really showing up that often. Nineteen percent yield decrease. Yeah, that's not good. All right. We're gonna need we're gonna need a ton of clay just to to get all this stuff right. Um, all right, so we'll need to make sure that the clay is being brought in. Let's try to buy as much clay as we can and try to let's try to get let's try to get all this good. Let's try to find a middle ground. This would be good. This would be zero. I do that though, get a ten percent yield. And I don't get. E. I'm gonna do that. That's a lot of clay. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get get back. compost to our wheat and we can use roads to get the uh, raiders to follow certain pathing to That's gonna change. Um, it's a bit of desirability to get up. I'm surprised the house didn't do it. Why are these 41 and this is 18? What, what did I do here? They must be like just out of reach of uh, this shrine over here. That's all right. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Alright, that's fine. We'll just build another shrine on this side. And everything will be great. In the meantime, though, um. Let's 
Let's do that. Let's get as many people building as we need. Firewood's good. Everything's good. Just need uh, more clay. Closer to the wood. I'm just gonna move everything closer over here. I think this would be better, like right here. Moving it back over. Probably be better right here. I have better access. Uh, it, being close to the farm is nice for the compost, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. that thing for a bit. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a while. Yeah, we can put the theater back here. We can put a medium statue there, large statue. Large statue. I think we can fit the theater, large statue, and a medium statue right there. One livestock board. Good enough for me. Bad. We're making a good amount of bread. I'm not really worried about predators as much as I just don't want the cows running off. It's just uh, it's nice to have have this all enclosed. Not that many people sick. Doing pretty good. We're actually generating quite a bit of taxes. I'm pretty surprised. Let's look at what else we can do here. Could do a rat catcher. Not noticing I'm having a problem with rats, which is actually really weird. Thank god these still plazas still stack. That would destroy me if they didn't. Okay. 28. That should do it. That should put that over right there. That'll put it at 31. Nope. New traveling merchant. What's he got? He will buy my boards. 700. He has herbs. Buy some of those. 10. He has overpriced bricks. I need like, what, 50? Yeah, it's not enough. How bad do I want this? I need 50 and then 50 ingots. That would increase the desirability of the houses too. That would get a lot of this up to where I need it. For, um... We're going to let it go. It's 
I need to I need to concentrate on my food supply. I'll cross that. Oh yeah, there's gonna be gold ore in here, so they're gonna the freaking raiders are gonna want to steal that. Well, they might steal something from me. That's just the way it the way it goes. No, nope, not gonna do it. All right, let's hold up a second. Let's see if there's anything I can buy and sell. So they're paying high price for baskets, shoes, and soap. Are they selling any of that? Nope. What are they paying? Clothing, pottery, and beer. Oh, there you go. Pottery. Alright, so he will sell me pottery at 10. And he will buy pottery at 13. That is a deal. We're going to buy all this. And we're not going to click the wrong button this time. We're going to buy in stock. We're going to go over to this, this dude. We're going to sell him all of that. And then we're going to go back. Buy in stock. And then we're going to sell it. Oh, looks like we got a little bit of uh, excess. That's okay. I guess I... He doesn't have any more gold. Um, let's buy some... Let's buy like 10. And then sell him the rest of this pottery. There, he's got some free stuff. Got a big old thing of cash. Does he have any cows? Um, let's buy a little bit more herbs. I just want to make sure the houses keep upgraded. We need that for upgrades. Uh... <laughs> Since we made that money, let's do it. You only live once. Come on. All right. And now we didn't... Wow, look how cheap flour is. Let's transfer some of these shoes to sell. That's a good place. And we're gonna upgrade. Hmm. I think I actually might upgrade this one. 250, huh? I'm gonna upgrade this one so that I get the desirability bonus over here. These houses are all good, so... We do actually need rock clay, but I don't think either one of them has that. Yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. Clay. Ah, crud. Yeah, yeah. Get that water going, guys. Better get a freaking well over here, too. Oh, cool. Perfect. Three more upgrades, and then 150 and 1200 gold, and we're tier three. It's pretty, it's pretty easy to get to tier three. And like I said, as we get a tier three, then we can start smelting gold ore, and then we just have more money than we know what to do with. And game, game just goes straight to easy mode once you hit tier three. Milk production seems pretty reasonable for five cows. Health seems pretty good. 
our people are getting smarter. Yeah, if we're that close to tier 3, I'm not going to sell any of that gold ore, probably. I'm going to keep it in there just in case we find ourselves in a situation where there's something that will help us uh, progress faster. And I'm also going to place... So this is hitting all those buildings, but these buildings aren't getting hit. So, except. Okay, I'll build one right there. I'm not really sure where this guy's going. Might need to rearrange this stuff so that um, I can get a road through here. A road would have been nice. Oh, he's going back to his ox cart place. Um, yeah, this isn't efficient to have him in here. Let's move him. Let's move him right here. Let's move him back down out there. I didn't realize he was so inefficient there. We'll raise the terrain and get this divot up. Actually, it's kind of nice having the inside of your base small because if they break in. So sometimes you just want to raise uh, the tower area and leave it, leave the dip inside your base. Makes your towers more effective. If I put him here, he can hit that gate and that gate. I definitely think that's it. However... I'm gonna put the theater there. Hmm. If I put him here and then I upgrade him, I think he'll do better. And I'll just... Make a weird little thing here. This is like the ugliest town I've ever made, but I, I really like it a lot. It's, it's the waffle socket. It it plays by no rules, no plans. It just does what it wants. Six hundred. Five eighty one, wow. That's insane. Now keep in mind that our food store is up here is only taking into consideration the bread that's made and not the grain that's stored. So we likely have just a little bit more. Um, I think that this is producing enough. Let's check our spoilage to make sure that the grain is being converted. Yeah, it doesn't look like we have any uh, grain spoiling, just the bread. So that means we're turning it to flour at a productive rate. Very little spoilage. Very little production, very little. Wow, look at all the freaking fruit that's spoiling. Yeah. So we're not going to do any more fruit. Uh, the dairy's spoiling. We don't have a cheesemaker. Wow, everything. We just... We need meat. We need meat and we need to smoke that meat. I think with the amount of food that we have spoiling, we're probably safe to um, keep expanding.
Right on. That's enough. That's enough houses, I think. Just two more. Yeah, that should do it. Yeah, we just really need the population. So we got... Got a few areas terraforming. I think if we get... terraformed yeah that should that should do it you can leave that area clear for like a large statue or something there's another one two three four that's 16 okay yeah we're good well, no, we need, we need one more house. Sorry. Exactly one more house. Where am I going to put you? Let's put you right here. Bring in more tax revenue. Oh, that's not good. I need to build more storage. All right. Put you right there. Make sure this worker camp is doing its deal. Wow, those trees grew back fast. I wonder if they increased the tree regeneration in this game. I feel like the trees are kind of growing a little faster. This guy back here. I did buy those ingots. Let's upgrade that. That'll give it a decoration bonus. Cobbler's a coblin. Everything is in motion. Oh, we can upgrade the hunters. know if that will really help I think I think we'll just do one it's a lot of gold but let's just do one for now let's see if they made any changes they didn't talk about in the patch notes okay 140 I thought I had Oh yeah, okay, I was like, wait, I, ca I counted this out. Where is he? Okay, that's, that's, that should do it. Thought I had one more house than I did though. Looks like I miscalculated. My apologies. Need one more. I think I counted a house that was upgrading as a house that's being built or something. Okay, that's weird. It's like several houses were just built and it didn't go. Okay, well I have two, so these better work. That should that should get us there. Um, one person's sick. We're okay. All right, our clay. I don't know. We haven't done any maintenance yet. Did a little bit of maintenance this year. No movement. Did two maintenance this year. No movement. Why is it not working now? So odd. Didn't budge at all.
Didn't use any clay. Alright, well, let's hope that works. You see, this is the problem I had before. For this stuff. Alright, looks like it's finally budging. No, it didn't even budge. Okay, we're at 185. So this is the problem I had before. It doesn't freaking work. It worked in the beginning of the game. All right, well, we'll just give it, give it time. That small carcass thing. It's pretty good. Nothing didn't look like any new new changes. And for some reason it's not not doing what I wanted to do. This is what happened to me before. I'll, I'll wait for them to finish, but I feel like it should have started. It was working normally when I first started the game. I could buy more cows. I'm gonna start making hide coats. That's probably a good idea. Get the tannery going. Just put him here so he's close to the cows. <laughs> Clay's still sitting there. It better freaking work. Stocks are low. Should have a good quantity of grain for bread. Yeah, and then like, I built two new houses. I don't know, there's like a, a latency. Oh, it just didn't build yet. Okay. That's super disappointing. It's not, uh, it's not adding soil again. This is what happened to me before. Where it was working at the beginning of the game, and then it just stopped. What? I don't know what I'm doing wrong, because I thought you just had to do field maintenance to get that stuff in. Alright, yeah. If someone knows that if someone knows how that's supposed to work, let me know. Cause this is like what's been happening to me is that in the beginning like it just doesn't work. We got plenty of clay. Like we got Is it because of the clay's being st stored somewhere that like it's being st ten so I have ten clay stored in the stockyard. Is it cause it's like in a house or something? Someone like hoarding the clay? I don't even think the houses can hold clay. This is so weird. Yeah, I actually don't even know where the, that clay is, to be honest. It's, uh, that clay has gone AWOL.
Got ten there. Got zero there. And I got nothing there, of course. Buy some herbs, keep keep houses going. Oh, we could buy baskets. And I screwed up. I have anything to sell this guy's shoes. I don't care. It's fine. I'll sell them cheap. I want all the I want every basket this guy has. Let's see me transfer some stone. Alright, that should do it. That's a lot of baskets. Oh, he's got clay. Oh, he's got just everything. There, I bought more clay. I just don't know where the freak it is. I wonder if it's, I wonder if it's not working because I, I, I procced too much. Let's just do, let's just do like a little bit. Maybe that's it. Maybe it's just uh, overwhelmed. All right, the dude left. All right. Maybe that's been my problem this whole time, is that I just tried to do too much at once, but I, I really don't know where the freak the clay went off to. I have it, and I know I can use it for building purposes, but as far as trying to change the soil composition, it's not pulling. So weird. Okay, which one of these was I doing it on? This guy. Alright. Hopefully that works. It's kind of upsetting. It's already broken again, because I know I, I literally had it working at the beginning of the game. Let's just do one. think it's gonna work it's just it's like I have 10 right? all right so I have 10 clay here so it's like let's turn this guy off let's uh, turn that guy off let's reset it's driving me kind of crazy I think this is actually the glitch field too. Well, so much for that. That's kind of it's kind of annoying. I'm not really sure why this isn't taken care of. firewood situation just noticed let's turn this guy back on the full steam oh there it goes there it goes finally I think I just I think my issue is just that I only had 10 available and because I had asked for so much it just wasn't procking okay cool 
So don't do what I just did, which was try to do too much at once. You just gotta do a little bit at a time. And it looks like you gotta make sure, like even though it says I have 198, you gotta make sure that you have that in the stockyard. Cool, cool. Okay, well that's good. That's good, at least we know we can do that. I don't know where that, that clay is. I know I can use it for other things, but... Yep, now we're making a thousand fruit. I wonder if I can sell any of that fruit. Probably not, no one buys it. Ooh, could you definitely sell that. Can definitely sell some coal. Hmm. Let's transfer the clay. Let's try this, let's try transferring the clay back into here and then transfer it out and see if we can get it where we need it to go so we can actually put it back into the fields. It's so weird. And I don't like that the meat goes, or I guess what I should probably start doing is disabling meat being stored in the market so that it's all smoked. Let's see if that works. That'll be cool. All right, cool. I'm feeling a bit better. For the second there, I was losing my mind. Um, I was like, what is going on? And that house is just... Oh my gosh, build the freaking house, people. Drive me crazy. All right, things are going in a really good, really good direction. Oh, that's right. That's right. One last touch. The, the My favorite thing in the world, candles. One of the best, one of the best luxury taxes, one of the best luxury items. Just great. It's cheap, so cheap. Firewood is so cheap. You make 15 firewood from one, oh, sorry, 15 firewood from one freaking log. And then the candles take one, like one firewood and like a, a, a couple wax and it makes four candles. So you can make 60 candles from one log and all the wax, which is essentially free once you build it up. And they collect it pretty, relatively fast. And then you get the honey. The honey is another item you can sell uh, quite frequent. Eh, it's, it's not as common as I'd like it, but it's common enough that when someone comes in and buys it, I'm able to stock it. Like I'm able to sell like 1,500 of it. I just keep stocking it and selling to that person and buying everything they have. So... Honey is um, definitely something you need the infrastructure to store, but has a really good value. And then, of course, later you turn it into ale production, and then much, much later, the apothecary uh, for medicine. We, uh, however, probably will not be making medicine because we don't have heal root and other things that I would like to have that are native to this map. I'd have to buy all that, so... And to be honest, in prior gameplays, I don't know if it's changed, but I've actually never really had medicine very often and I haven't noticed any problems. I honestly don't even buy like that much heal root or herbs and it seems that the healer hut's able to manage so we'll see. The game's definitely going to be changing though so I will have to find out. Alright well I think we learned quite a bit. Um, it does appear that the barn... Honestly, from my perspective, it does appear that the barns are working a lot better. I'm not saying that, that the cows are getting sick like they used to. Um, everything's working properly. It looks like they got the they got the uh, people per population ratio at a better place so that the AI takes care of the cows appropriately. Uh, we're getting filled out. We're going to get this to 150. And we're going to get to tier 3. And then tier 4... Oh, tier four requires 300 people, but it allows us to have mansions, which bring in really high ta uh, luxury taxes. You don't get luxury taxes until you get mansions, so we'll have to make that push. So after this, it will be another expansion. I might expand out over this way, move this stuff to a different area, keep the cow right there. That might be nice. Would look like this would be the best place to expand because it's high. 
So be really easy to fortify. And then it will get the bonus of this large park and the theater. So yeah, we'll probably expand eastward. Be a big old, be a big old upside down L. Wow, two livestock. Nice, nice. So we're getting there, eight to 10. Eventually we're gonna start getting meat. Probably have to build another smokehouse. Um, let's see if we were able to keep meat out of the markets by disabling it. I believe so. Yeah, yeah. So we'll just keep the meat out of the markets so that it's all smoked. Very good. Very good. All right, I think by transferring the clay Now I'm just going to send it all back. <laughs> it's like, what? Yeah, let's at least get this this guy right. Let's at least get this guy right. God, it's f tweaking out. Alright, whatever, man. <laughs> it, like, it, like, won't let me move it. There we go. Alright, we're gonna keep it there. Plus 10%. So that's, that's, a, that's an interesting strategy. If your play gets glitched out, move it into the trading post and move it back out again. That seemed to actually work pretty well. New traveling merchant. What you got? You got buying baskets, okay? They're buying candles. We need to get definitely need candle production going. They're selling coal. Unfortunately, nothing that we need. Firewood seems to be progressing correctly. Let's take a quick look at that. Firewood. Producing 591, consuming 523. That's a good that's a good level because we haven't built the candle shop. Um well we have built the candle shop, but it's not it's not at full bore yet. Let's just go to two people for now. How many of these do we have? Five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so that's 35 wax. We have, um, okay. Yeah, that's not a lot. Just gonna make about 80. I think we need one more. I think one or two more and, and we'll be, at, be in a position where we can produce quite quite a bit. Oh yeah, I forgot I could put them in here. All right, now we've overdone it, but that's fine. We just need to focus on our food production now, which actually reminds me, I'm probably gonna get another farm up. No one will ever buy that tallow. It's just gonna rot my warehouse. Um, what kind of farm do we want to do? Another eight by nine. Forty-four percent environmental fertility factor. That's not bad. It's about the best area I can get right now. We're gonna do two. Forty-three percent. Forty percent. Okay, we're going with forty-three. It's not great. But uh, let's get those eight by nines up. Get that farming game going. We're gonna need it. All right, so we got our crop to where we wanted it. Perfect. 
I'm going to get that 10% bonus now instead of that negative that we had. Very, very cool. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Let's just do that. <laughs> get the bonus on that. That's so much. So much clay. You got any clay for sale? Oh. We're, we're breaking. We're breaking a lot of money. Gonna have to figure out what to do with it. I like to build as I go. It's just... Me makes sense. This is going to be kind of a residential area. This will be the fortified area. So I'm probably I'm probably just going to do one wall around this whole thing. Try to cram as many buildings in as I possibly can to get that 300. Oh man. This game's fun. I... I think this is about the, oof, probably the third, twelfth or thirteenth village that I've built. Um, each of my games usually last around ten to twenty hours, though. So, uh, yeah, because I'm pushing like 160 hours into this game now. All right, all right. Well, thanks everyone for. Oh, well, I can't leave on that. We gotta watch the show. All right, we're gonna leave in a we're gonna leave on a good note, I guess. Of course, they're coming. Of course. All right, so they're probably gonna they're probably gonna break a bunch of shit. All right, everybody get inside. Uh, freaking Legolas here, I'm trying to be a hero. Get the nah, he's not gonna make it. Oh, oh, no, he didn't make it. All right, that tower is probably gonna get destroyed. Let's get double the people in these towers. All right, so this tower might save the day by get, getting the attention. And this, see, this is why I, when I place my stuff, I want cross sections on t on these things. It just creates layers in your defensive strategy. All right, one house isn't so bad. Oh, that's not the house, it's market square. Oh my God, 25 bricks, all right. All right, see, this is why I freaking put up walls. I don't have pillboxes around my fort. Amateur hour commences. Okay, so next game will be all about getting bricks. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's great. Um, even with the park bonus, those houses are going down. Okay, hold up, hold up. We can solve this. We can solve all of our problems with plazas. The answer to every problem is just spam plazas there you go it's like it's like putting a band-aid on all right all right oh that was cool i'm gonna freaking get i'm gonna freaking get this situation under control let's figure out how many houses we can pack in here just disable construction for now Actually, we may want to leave some space. We'll have to figure that out next game. Um, well, we got some... Oh, 
that's interesting. I have this thing toggled off, but people are still coming here. P patients healed. Let what the freak? How did I not notice this? People are still coming to the healer's house, even though I'm not paying for it and I have no one working here. That's so cool. I guess I, I know I saw that a patient's healed here last year, but it never occurred to me. Um, I got too many sick people though. I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put a person in there. I can afford it. I can't I can't allow an outbreak to get out of control. Once I hit five, that's kind of like that's the magic number for me. All right. Boom, fertility increase. We're going to be pumping out bread. All right, guys. Well, I thank you everyone for watching. I'll have another episode pretty soon here. And that was a little bit of an excitement for the end.